Aisha was taking it the hardest. She seemed to swing between worry and fatalistic resignation. She was irritable. She couldn't concentrate. She withdrew and wept alone. That night, after the other kids had fallen asleep, Kathy sat behind Aisha on her bed. She took her daughter's thick black hair in her hands and kneaded it with one hand, brushing it with the other. It was something she had done with Nadema to calm her down before bed. And Yuko's mom had done the same with Kathy after their baths. It was soothing, meditative, for both mother and daughter. In this case, Kathy was humming a tune she couldn't even remember the name of. And Aisha was sitting, tense, but accepting. Kathy was confident that this would ease her worry and end with Aisha dropping back into Kathy's lap, contented and sleepy. You hear from them? Aisha asked. No, baby, not yet. Is he dead? No, baby, he's not dead. Did he drown? No. Did they find his body? Honey! Stop! But after a half a dozen strokes of her brush, Kathy took a quick breath. Aisha's hair was coming out in clumps. The brush was full of it. Aisha's eyes welled. Kathy bawled. There is nothing worse than this, Kathy thought. There can be nothing worse than this.